What about the days before he died? Was he there? With there are many things that happened in your absence, but I don't want to spoil your appetite. Let's just eat. about to find out. Is it true that you were calling my wife as prostitutes and you Linda? You have to take it easy. This will not solve anything. Son, you got to calm down. Let's talk about this. Don't you freaking ask me to calm down. Answer my question. Were you ever referring to my wife as a prostitute, a whore, floozy, or whatever word you used against her? My love. Your mother and I had a misunderstanding, but it wasn't anything serious. I mean, we just... Don't you dare lie to him, you psychophant. Yes, son. Yes. I did call her a fluzy. And that's exactly what her behaviors within these spices are proving her to be. How dare you? How won't I dare, young woman? Oh, you didn't tell him. Oh, you didn't tell him about those mirrors of men that come in here looking for you. Men? What men? It's true, isn't it? Will you shut up your mouth before I do it for you? Listen, George. Whatever you hear from this two cannot be anything but a grand conspiracy to conceal the despicable things they did against your wife and crown. Christian! Don't Christian me, mom. Let me speak the truth. Look, we have to trash this here and now. There's always a day of reckoning, you know? And I want today to be your own day of reckoning. A day you will prove the kind of love you have for George as a son. When his son was admitted in the hospital for two weeks. Two weeks, mom. And you sat down here complacently without even bothering to visit him once until he died. Christian, you don't speak those things against me, your mother. What? I don't speak the truth? Wait, is that what you want from me as a son? That I don't speak the truth as it concerns your misdeeds? No, mom. No! I think I'm, I'm beginning to get a clear picture of who I am in this family. Yes. Upstairs. Sing upstairs. You had better have a rethink. If you think you can rip off this family apart, the history of its peace and union is way beyond what you can destroy. Do you hear me? I heard a dog bark. I wonder, was that you? What's this thing? Myself, a dog? And you merely watch her leave, Linda. Oh, please, there are bigger issues to talk about rather than what you and that are that talking about. No, no. Of course it has. It has. See, and don't you dare tell me it has no when I freaking know it has. See, why, why, why am I always the one putting my life online, paying the price for peace in this family? Why? Why is it like this? I put in patience. I put in silence even when I'm supposed to be vocal. I slave my life out all for the good of everybody. And what do I get in return? You turn it around and throw it to me. Listen, listen, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you are angry. And of course you have every right to be. But it would be so unfair of you to, to categorize me in that case. I don't care any longer. I don't care any longer. See, I've had it to this place. 
And I, 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 I feel like throwing up. George, listen, you're my brother. We can always work things out. Two months. Two months. To get them out of this house. Unless you want to join us. I had no problem with the kid. To think that I earlier planned to go see him in the hospital, but you, you have a way of skimming people out of their planned activities. Will you shut up, you silly little girl? I don't want your hand from your pocket. You are talking to me. Look who is talking about skimming. When you can hardly differentiate your left from your right. <laughs> it's funny you should mention differentiate. Because, Mom, I remember that night vividly. That night, Ada was in labor. I wanted to help her. But no, you pulled me back. I said, keep quiet. Chris, I have better not hear about this. What was it about, sir? Well, it was about you and this little girl. Mommy, keep quiet. No. No, Mom, leave her alone. One more word from you, and God bear me witness if you don't get to bed right away in the emergency ward of any nearby hospital. And you call me a bastard. Listen, you should get the little girl to talk to me. There is nothing to talk about. There is absolutely nothing to talk about. You just get ready, pack your things, and be ready to leave this house between now and the next two months. Both of you. You've got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, right. Fine. I am kidding you. For now I am. But in the next two months, I wouldn't be. Okay now. Mama, you seen it, yes? You now see mommy. Will you shut up? Shut the hell up and let me think. saying all those things before my husband. Did anything go wrong? Answer my question, Dad. Are you out of your mind? You walk into this place even without greeting your father, you begin to query him so rudely? Are you mad? Honey, honey, please come. I will not, Dad, until you answer my question. Get out. To the war beings. For what? For what? To rebuild what you destroyed last night. 
Ed now come back here. Come back here! Forget that I pay the rent in this house. Come on, please. Emma, please, don't hear me. I forbid you from going to George's house to discuss the merits and the demerits of the treatment he gave to that savage, cruel, tamagant woman. Please. Dad, what do you want? Why do you always want to be in control of other people's lives? No, you are wrong there. Because you are so naive to look after yourself, I have decided to look after you. Besides, that woman punished you so much, you know that. You have made me go through so much more, Dad. Leave her for me to worry about. Why can't you set people free to live their lives and make their decisions by themselves? Make decisions and be liable for those decisions. What do you want, Dad? You want to act like you care? You want to act like you care so much? That has always been your style. That is exactly what you did to Victor until he lost it. Leave his life to violent crimes all in a bit to be free from you. You realize what you're saying? Yes, Dad. I am telling you what nobody in this house is bold enough to tell you. That what happened to Victor is and will always be your fault. I don't know your father is acting. Oh, let him be, Mother. Let him be. He has to be made to realize the consequences of his actions. Victor, your first son, killed himself because he wanted to be free from you. Now I ask you, Father, is that what you want to have me do? Reverend, you are saying this. Edna? Honey, don't mind her. You better mind me, Mother, because the earlier you begin to mind me, the better. Unless, of course, you're ready to lose another child, all in the quest to be free from your entanglements. Worst and most unfair judgment that has ever been passed on me. You're talking about Victor, my son. Victor that I give every part of my life to ensure that... Honey? That Victor... Adora, you have hurt me a lot. Oh. You have hurt me a lot. Are you okay? What's happening to you? Get me a doctor. Get me a doctor. What happened to that? I mean, Mom called me. What happened? Mom, what happened? The doctor is attending to him at the intensive care unit. Mom, please. What exactly happened to him? I don't know what came over your sister. What? You're going to blame me over this now? Just keep quiet. Can someone please talk to me? She went all the way. Raving and ranting that it was for his quest for freedom from your dad. That Victor went into crime and subsequently got killed. Jesus Christ. You said all that to him, sis? Yes, I did. I did because that is the truth. It's not the truth, for goodness sake. Sis, can't you just start being fair for once? Enough, both of you. This is a public place. That's an unfair and cruel thing for you to have said to that. After all he has been through, trying to get Victor out. Sis, he's completely on me. Shut up! Shut up, you idiot! The Victor we're talking about here is my first child ever. And let nobody, let nobody remind me of what took me an age to put behind. Please. so I could inform George. You should have told somebody. You got us all worried. I'm sorry. I never intended to. How is he? 
He's still there. He has not spoken a word yet. Dad, I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. Adora, don't start. I swear. I swear, Mom. I never meant to hurt him. I never meant to. Dixon, pull her off. For what, Mom? I love her. I'm not saying she shouldn't apologize, but look at the man she's talking to. He doesn't even know we're here. I do. He said something. Dad. Dad. Can, can you hear us? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. The way you spoke to me nearly shut up my heart. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm going insane. I'm going crazy. No, sweetheart. You're not. You're fine. I am not. I am not. I have entered Coming out is not an easy time I am turning, Lord, between two worlds, I don't know where to start. George, I thank you for your support. You're welcome, sir. I'm so far from where I know I should have been. I'm incomplete My emotions have failed me again oh. Am I all alone? Am I all alone? Can somebody out there hear me I'm so sorry I hurt you. I never intended to. I promise. I promise never to hurt you again. I swear. No, you don't have to say that. I swear by my life. Mm -mm. You don't have to say that. You don't have to swear. Everything I did, I thought I was doing in your own interest. I never intended to hurt you. You see, there is more to life than just living. And this is why when Victor came along, Victor... Daddy, it's okay. All right. I'm taking it easy. But remember, darling, the race for heaven must be sustained. Daddy, you have to take things easy. We don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. We've lost too many people already. It's alright. It's okay, you see. I did my best for you. But Victor came and do everything and that's why I'm not so happy with him. Daddy, mm. we love you and we appreciate the way you brought us up in a Christian way. I'm sorry about all my mistakes, the pregnancy, the marriage. You see darling, we're all human and we make our mistakes. Yeah, but it's all in the past now. Mm? Um, I know that George must be extremely lonely. Why don't you go and join him? He's with mom. Yes, he may be with mom, but it's not mom that he married. 
it was you he uh, took away and um, you know I offered him an opportunity to meet a priest and confess his sins but he he rebuffed the idea and finally wasted his life but it's okay you can go and meet George George is lonely he's waiting for you she wouldn't be needing anything um I don't think so um I just want to be left alone so I see if I can uh, catch some sleep because I'm really tired good night daddy it's all right good night and then tell George I'm saying good night. Uh, have a good time, but I just sincerely hope that both of you don't stay out late. We promise. Alright. I love you. And I love you too. It's alright. Now you can go out there and enjoy George. I think he's quite lonely. I also decided uh, the wedding will be taking place in a few months' time. George, I hope you're not under any kind of tension. You don't need to please anyone, you know. No, oh, no, Mom. It's not about pleasing anybody. It's a personal decision. As long as it will not rouse more tension. No tension? No way. Because I've also decided the wedding will be taking place in your church. Are you serious? <laughs> You're having your wedding in a church? <laughs> Who said that? I I'm so sorry I hadn't told you earlier. That's splendid. Yes, I think it is. Go and inform your father. It will help his recovery. No, no, mom. He is sleeping right now. We'll tell him tomorrow. Besides, he doesn't want us to stay out late. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I, I'm almost true. I think mom has something to tell me. No, I'm done. I just want you to reconsider your stance. Think about it. They are still your family. I'll think about it. Think? Do what you're told, silly. <coughs> are you okay? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll handle it.
Mom, what are you saying? Mom. Hello, baby. Uniform? Oh, yes, I'm with my mother. Mother? Okay, uh, I'll be outside then. Sure, sure. Mom? Yes, yes. Mother, please! Can you possibly relax? I still have a grip on my system. It looks like mom could swear about my wife's infidelity, don't you think? Look, Judge, if this is all about mom says about your wife, then I think you should disregard it and focus your mind on more important things. Oh, really? Yeah. Chris. Yeah? Have you been sleeping with my wife? Judge. What do you mean by that? Answer the damn question because you heard me. No, for Christ's sake. Hey, why would you even think that in the first place? Because I don't understand why you should go out of your way to defend her. Even when it's becoming obvious and glaring. So I figured out that probably you guys have been scratching each other's brain behind me. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I mean, this is not right. Okay, I, I I might not understand what you mean by becoming so glaring, but hey George, it's absurd for you to think that I would be involved with your wife behind you. What do you take me for? Well, I'm sorry if that's true in the bad light, but something is not right. I mean, something is not clear. <sighs> With what? With wife. How, how do you mean? I think my wife is pregnant. Yes. The result available to me here, madam, shows that you are pregnant. Two weeks. There's your copy. You know him, don't you? Who? The father. Now. Ah, no, <laughs> Let me read. 
<laughs> Let me breathe. Uh, Abigail. Yes, ma'am. Go in and fix something for him. Yes. Oh, mom, I'm okay. I just had lunch. Are you sure? Yes, just had lunch. And uh, I just came to tell you that my Canada visa is out and I'm leaving tomorrow. I thought you gave up uh, this Canada trip a long time ago. Yes, I did. But some reasons came up and I, and I had to pursue it again. And you're just telling me? What is wrong with you, Joel? Why do you like to detach yourself away from us? Mom, please. Let's not go down this road, please. So, brother, are you telling us that you're traveling tomorrow? All I want to ask you is, if there's anywhere offended you, let me know. And I'll ask you for forgiveness. Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. And there's nothing to forgive. Mom, just know that you are the best mother a son can have. If I'm the best mother, so why do you stay away from me? Mama, please, not again. Not again, please. Please, smile. Remember that song I used to sing for you? Pretty woman, put a smile on your face. Pretty woman, come on! <laughs> You're such a blessed son. Uh. Look, are you sure you don't want to eat anything? I made a very nice porridge, and I know you like it. Uh, Abigail, yes, just go in and get him a little portion of that porridge, okay? Mm. Just go. Bro, should I? Yeah, you heard what your mother said, yes. Mother said I should get at me and said, wait. Go! All right. I've been eating it for how many years now? Eating it one more time would make a difference, would it?